ART, um, P3 in the standings at the end of it all. And that's largely thanks to the eventual and even more eventual than it needed to be with how that F3 season ended. Victor Martin's champion, Gregoire Saucy, Juan Manuel Correa, also part of the team. Great to have him on the podcast not that long ago. And I think they all kind of realized it wasn't going to be their year, as in the, the latter two there. Victor, a really weird championship. We say consistency is key. And he was consistent enough to win the championship. But it all kind of was front-loaded in a way. I know he was still there and picking up decent points, picking up, well, silverware at the end uh Zandvoort got the feature race p2 but yeah I, Zane Maloney could have picked him out of nowhere who'd have thought that before we got into into Belgium Josh it was a such an odd championship win in the end but Victor Martins is a Formula 3 champion yeah I mean <clears throat> the championship was like my hair you just didn't quite know what I wanted to do really <laughs> It was just, it was just, just the strangest thing ever. And I think, um, I think if you're heading into Belgium, I think most people were convinced it was hard jars to lose, mm-hmm. you know, um, Martin, you know, like anyone who knows wheel knows that Martin can hustle a car, you know, he's fantastic driver, but he always gave off an aura of someone who was just destined to lose championships by the smallest of margins. And I remember heading into the weekend and people were asking, oh, who's going to win the championship? And I kept on maintaining, it's going to be the bear. Um, so I was too far back. I'm like, there are still two races. There's plenty of points on hand. And then um, sprint race happened and uh, <clears throat> Martin had his trip through the grass. Uh, thanks to the, the forgotten one, um, giving him a bit of a smack, but you know, like still, for the way the championship to, to end, like, um, here, here's the thing. I was a bit brassed off with the uh, way that it ended based on, I just want to see races finish under green. That's just how I am. You may not get the result you want, but finishing under safety car or under a red flag, in my view, is rancid. You know, it's not, you know, nefarious it's just anticlimactic you know it's just like oh come on let's just go racing um but it's just like 30 seconds later it's just like oh whatever martin deserved that he has had a fantastic year you know and that's racing at the end of the day like um you know so martin season yeah it was one of like definitely had the speed was definitely one of the best drivers of the year but it was more down to the consistency, probably, you know, more so than anything else. Um, no, he, he just performed. ART, probably not the best team that year. No, they weren't the best team of the year. <laughs> that, 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 We're proving that's that, fair. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so, you know, to do that, you know, and um, I think it's fair to say comprehensively outshone his teammates, you know. Um yeah, you know, however he came to do it, you know, he he got there at the end of the day by the, the thinnest of margins. Uh, still, though, it was a fantastic year from him. He deserves all the plaudits. And now it's time for his career to be ruined going up to ART's Formula 2 team, which seems <laughs> to be completely freaking cursed in recent years. Um, still, though, we'll see how he does. Hopefully he doesn't just end up going to IndyCar in two years. Um Oh God. So I'll see, you know, he's always been a good driver, always been sort of um, a pacey driver. And I didn't expect him to head it out at the start of the year. It was uh, start, start of the year. He was performing well. It's like, Oh, that's a bit sooner than I thought he would. And then he fell off and he sort of never really reached those heights again, almost in a way. It's like, Oh, well, that's a bummer. But yeah, uh, Correa had some good, notable performances, but he's not quite with his teammates, you know, with the greatest of respects. You know, I think we all wanted to see the best for him. 
and you know to see the podium him see him get his podium was a feel good moment but I don't know what his plans are. You know, he talks about wanting to go back into Formula 2, where it's just like, I don't know, dude. Like, I, I, I don't know. You kind of were outshone by Salsi. You were definitely outshone by Martin. Like, are you sure you want to go back up there? Like, it's not, not, it's not like Formula 2 is not the be-all and end-all of motorsport. You know, there are other avenues you can go down to. I just don't feel Formula 2 is where Correa should be aiming right now. Of course, my opinion is gospel, and my opinion is all that matters. So Correa should just heed my advice, <laughs> obviously. No. Nah, so overall, ART, um, two drivers showing potential for sure with some good performances, or at least you know one more so than the other. Um, and then the champion drive from Martin and well deserves. You know, talk about the ending all you want. Frankly, it took me like 30 seconds to get over it mm-hmm. because you know, there were six drivers in contention for that championship that year, and five of them were absolutely worthy of it. Mm-hmm.